Hey there, you fucking scumbags and degenerates. It's me, TJ Kirk, the amazing atheist. Gave up my career as an opera singer to be here making these YouTube videos. So what's the subject of today's video? Today we're gonna talk about um, some some web comics created by uh, creationist nut job Ray Comfort, who I like to call Ray Comfort. <laughs> because I have the sense of humor of a junior high school student. So Ray Comfort has got this movie called Evolution vs. God. He's uh, pushing this movie like nobody's fucking business. And the premise of the movie is that uh, God is real and evolution is bullshit. Uh, now, my friend Jacqueline Glenn has already made a comprehensive video debunking every single stupid shitty fucking point that this movie attempted to make. So I'm not gonna try to retread that. But when Ray Comfort put this movie out, he also put out a promotional website. And the promotional website has all kinds of different stuff that people can share, you know, uh, anti-evolution images, basically, that people who are of the Christian persuasion can go and put it on their Facebook, put it on their Twitter, and basically spam all their friends uh, with links to this shitty movie. And one of the promotional tools used is a web comic centers around uh, two atheist characters who are both men. I'm not sure if one's the father and one's the son or if they're just friends or if they're gay lovers. It's never really explained. One of the principles of the internet is that uh, every time you think you've seen the stupidest thing, you're going to be proven wrong like a month later. And my current stupidest thing that I've ever seen on the internet is these shitty fucking comics, and you're about to find out why. Let's jump right into the first comic. As atheists, we only believe in what we can see, right? That's right. What about love, wind, history, electricity, gravity, TV waves, and radio waves? Sometimes you say the dumbest things. Go read a book. This big emphasis on being able to see things is really not something that the atheists are bringing into this debate. It's not like we just say, well, we can't see God, therefore he's not there. It's that, you know, we can't see him, we can't touch him, we can't taste him, we can't smell him, we can't detect his presence in any way. Uh, there's nothing in, like, all of modern science that really strongly points to his existence in any way, shape, or form. When mankind first started the endeavor of science, it was so we could really understand God's creation. So it's not like science was out to disprove God, it just happened to do so in the process. Well, maybe not disprove, because it's pretty much impossible to disprove an unfalsifiable hypothesis, which is what God is. So what's the difference between the concept of God and the concepts of love? Love, wind, history, electricity, gravity, TV waves, and radio waves. Okay, well, let's see. Love is a chemical process, ke electrochemical process happening in the fucking brain. And before that, it was still something that human beings could corroborate amongst themselves. Uh, wind? We can clearly see the wind. I don't know what you mean we can't see the wind. We can see its effect on everything around it. We can see things blowing, and we can feel it. And we can smell, sense that it carries on it. Um, history, well, that's all documented. Electricity, well, we obviously know there's fucking electricity. I mean, wh wh what are you watching this video on, if not for something powered by electricity? TV waves, uh, turn on a TV with a fucking pair of bunny ears on it, and you'll see some fucking TV waves. Radio waves, turn on your fucking radio, and you're hearing fucking radio waves. You know, so all of those things can be experienced. They can be corroborated by evidence and experience. God can not. Okay? And, you know, it, we don't necessarily have to see something with our eyes to know it was there. Like, if I pull out a gun and I shoot someone in front of you, did you see the bullet? No, you didn't see the bullet. It was moving too fast for your frail human perception to possibly see. Even though it was right there, even though it was right in front of you, you didn't see it because it was moving too fast. But you still know it was there because you saw the gun, you saw the fucking hole it made in the person that I shot, so you know that there was a bullet. You know it because of context clues. So, it's not always a matter of seeing with your eyes. 
There, but there, there's no context clues out there that really are strongly leading us to the God hypothesis. Look, God killed everyone, men, women, and children, in a worldwide flood. Everyone, that's evil. But we don't believe in God, so he didn't kill anyone. Sorry, I forgot. I don't even understand what the point of this one is supposed to be. Like, I understood the argument the previous one is making. This one, I don't get it. Is the point of it supposed to be that God doesn't exist, but if he did, he would be evil? Because that's the message I'm gleaning, but I know that's not the intended message because this is a Christian comic, so what the fuck are you guys trying to say? It really doesn't make any sense. I can't fucking discern what exactly you're getting at there. I don't know if I don't believe in God. That's okay. I sometimes doubt. So what should I do? Keep pretending. That's what we atheists do. This is pure, unadulterated shit. It seems to be predicated upon this weird assumption that it's obvious that God is real and that atheists are just like, well, we're just going to ignore that because we don't like it. Um... That's not the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is that the idea of God is completely preposterous. And also, I mean, I don't know what the fuck they want from us atheists on this doubt front. Because if you say that you're an atheist and you're 100% committed to that position and there's nothing that could change your mind, then it's like, oh, well, fucking, you just, you're just arrogant. You're not even open-minded. But then if you say, like, well, I guess that maybe there's, like, a sliver of doubt. Maybe, like, 0.1% doubt. And then they're like, aha, you're really an agnostic. You can't say for sure. And it's like, am I arguing with a fucking kindergartner, for fuck's sake? Is that what's going on here? I mean, I know that I never really mentally progressed much beyond the age of, like, 15, but I swear these Christians haven't mentally progressed much beyond the age of four. I've been thinking again! About what? And uh, is he smoking marijuana there? He's holding it like it's marijuana, so maybe. How are we able to think before we evolved? Just don't think about it. <laughs> like, it's... It's just gibberish. It's just gibberish. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make a fucking point. What does it mean? What is that statement? Like, how do we think before we evolved? What do you mean before we evolved? What does that even, what, is, what, is, what does that even mean? Before we evolved into humans? Well, before that, we were an ape-like ancestor of all modern apes. So we didn't think quite as well. We were still capable of thought, and then before that, we were some other mammal, and it was still less capable of thought, and fucking so on and so on, backwards through the fucking ages until you get back to the fucking very first primitive life forms that had no thoughts whatsoever, but just fucking replicated mindlessly. I mean, what, is this, what does it mean? Like, there's, there, no one has difficulty answering this fucking question that has any fucking knowledge of science. Like, if you have, like, a crash course in evolution, you read, like, a pamphlet about evolution, you could answer that fucking question like this. It's that fucking simple. And, and you know what this really does? It proves that Ray Comfort is full of shit. Because we're expected to believe that this guy can put together a sophisticated uh, social media campaign for his movie that he can uh, attract and manage a large audience of people who are dedicated to what he has to say. You think he can put all that together, but he can't recognize the fallacy of this fucking comic that literally any fucking ten-year-old with a ten-year-old's grasp of the concept of evolution should be able to refute handily with no problem whatsoever? Do you really believe that? Because I fucking don't. I think Ray Comfort is every bit the atheist that I am. I think he's a huckster. I think he's a charlatan. I think he's a fucking fraud. I've been thinking about how no one can create anything from nothing. So? Doesn't that prove everything must have had a creator? 
No, it proves that you're not thinking like a true atheist. I'm fucking tired of Christians acting like this is some kind of slam dunk. Like, well, it didn't come from nothing. Where'd the universe come from, huh? And then, when you turn it around on them and say, well, where did your God come from? They're like, <laughs> what? What do you mean, where'd he come from? He was just always there. What do you mean, where'd he come from? That's a stupid question. Oh, okay. Well, it's... It's a, it's a smart question to ask where the universe came from, but it's a stupid question to ask where God came from. I see. Why is that exactly? Is there an actual rationale behind that? No. No, there's not. I, don't bother asking. There isn't one. Um, let me ask you. If you had to posit that something came first, you know, there had to be an uncaused cause. There had to be something that had no previous cause, some event that, that was preceded by nothing. Um, which would be more likely? A complex, humanoid-like, intelligent being of infinite power or uh, a single energetic event with one kind of energy and then all of the complexity emerged later based on the laws of physics? Which of those sounds more likely to you? Just removing all of your cultural bias, removing the fact that a bunch of humans believe in God, just using your own intellect, which seems more likely to spontaneously come into existence? A, an, an entire deity who is completely complex and has all of these, these features and all of these powers or a single energetic event like BOOM! My camera is running low on battery, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. I've been thinking again. Thinking is good. But if God made everything and he believes in justice, hell would have to exist. Actually, thinking isn't all it's made out to be. Okay, well, this is, this is just silly. No atheist is going to be fucking bothered by the idea of hell any more than he's going to be bothered by the idea of Thanos invading the fucking Earth. Or Voldemort rising again and, and overthrowing humanity. It's, it's literally on that level of concern because it's just a fiction, like Harry Potter or Star Wars or the Marvel Universe. Do you think we are related to everything? Of course. Are we nuts? We certainly are. <laughs> a pun. Yeah, we are related to everything. It's not even, it's not even disputable. It's not even fucking disputable. Just look at the fucking genetic evidence. You honestly think that this shitty, stupid little comic can refute genetics and biology and all of the different scientific disciplines that have discovered these facts about how life emerges, how life uh, diversifies in all of these complex forms? You think you're going to refute that with some stupid comic with a punchline about nuts? Well, then you're nuts. You fucking morons. Jesus Christ. All right, so Ray Comfort is a fraud and a charlatan. These comics are the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Buy my book. Be my patron. Check out all the links down there. And be sure to check out uh, Jacqueline Glenn's video. Her video is linked down below as well. Uh, I guess that's all. Peace the fuck out.